evenly matched, Shere Khan. Don't flatter yourself, human. You are not my equal. If you were a true warrior, as you seem to think you are, you would do as all warriors do. Stand your ground against your opponent and match their power. That is the jungle way. All you've done through this confrontation is avoid and evade. Behavior typical of a coward, nothing more. If I'm a coward for avoiding your strikes, what does that make you? You've been dodging my attacks as much as I've been dodging yours. You would do well not to insult me, insolent human. I have the strength to vanquish your entire wolf clan. I have the power to rip you apart in mere moments. Then why don't you? Has your pride kept you from taking me seriously this whole time? Or maybe you have been fighting seriously. That tongue of yours. You are going to learn a hard lesson today, foolish girl. gonna dance like this all day? Maybe you don't realize it, but I didn't come here to play with you. I came here to kill you. <laughs> What's so funny, Shere Khan? You truly are as foolish as a newborn cub. This fight between us is over. What are you talking about? This fight isn't over. You haven't landed a single blow on me yet. Our battle has been decided. You may have grown up in this jungle, but you obviously do not possess the hunter's eye. If you did, you would be able to see what I'm capable of seeing right now. And the position you're in. I don't care what you see. I'm still on my feet and very capable of continuing this fight. Your ignorance blinds you, human. Let me help you see what you can't. By finishing this! As I said, it's over. You've lost, human. I saw your weakness. I knew that soon. You would make a fatal mistake and be at my mercy. But you haven't followed through on your threat to kill me. I've already told you, human. You are going to learn a hard lesson today at my claws. You thought you were so powerful, challenging me. Tell me, human. How does it feel to be defeated by the same tiger that left you an orphan upon Netta's death? Don't you dare speak his name! You had no right to kill the leader of our pack! He was nothing but kind to everyone, especially me, and you murdered him! Your father was a threat to my reign. He wisely understood the threat that I posed to your fertile hunting grounds. Yet, as courageous as he was, he was but one brave voice among a clan of cowards. I knew silencing Netta was also a silence to your clan's threat. It seems that one Miss Fitwell inherited her adoptive father's courage and came to challenge me. Every time you look into the waters for a drink, you will only see your failure and your weakness from today. Your punishment will not be to die, but to live in humiliation for all eternity.
You know, there's an old saying in the jungle that if you scratch your scars, they won't ever heal. Mother, I didn't hear you come up. You surprised me. I wasn't scratching at my scar. I was just getting a better look at it in the river to see how it was healing. That's all. Come now, dear. You know I wasn't talking about the scar on your face. I was talking about the one on your heart. The same one you've been scratching at every day since it happened. I'm sorry, Mother. I wasn't doing it on purpose. It's just... Every time I see that mark on my face, I can't help but relive what happened. That horrible memory. It never goes away. And it never gets any easier. My dear cop, it never gets any easier because you never let it go. I know that it hurts you, young one. The wound on your heart is no different than the one on your face. It will heal in time if you give it a chance. <sighs> I wish it were that simple. I've tried to look past the scars and not let them affect me. No matter how hard I try, when I see my face, I don't see myself anymore. Sunaya, scars are not marks of shame. In the jungle, scars are symbols and reminders of the battle's fought. That scar on your face is no different. No. Don't you see, Mother? I didn't get this scar because I was on some hunt or got into a fight for the sake of the pack. I got it because I wanted to. I was trying to... You were trying to avenge your father. How do you overcome something like that? How do you keep the pain inside from growing so much that it aches worse than any cut? How can you be so strong, Mother? I don't understand. I'm not as strong as you think I am, dear. I feel the same sadness and experience the same tears you do more often than I like to admit. And there are some nights that I can't even sleep. But what helps me during those times is to understand that everything happens for a reason, including this. I have you, my cubs and the clan here with me at all times. Yes, my maid may have passed on, but in a way, he is still alive. He may no longer be of this world, but the memory and the idea of Netta lives on in each one of us. And for me, that's enough to smile. I guess you're right. And I shouldn't honestly be surprised. After all, Father always did go on and on about being the strongest individual you could be. 
He would never let any of us accept being weak or defeated in any sense. And he wouldn't want our clan to become weak now in his absence. You may have been adopted into our clan, but you, yourself, have adopted your father's fighting spirit. He was always so proud of you, Sonaya. Never forget the lessons he taught us, and do whatever it takes to remain strong. And it's what you need to do if that scar on your heart is ever to heal. I think you spent enough time around here, dear. Go find your brother and have a bit of fun. I think it would do you some good to spend a little time with Grey and get away from the clan for a while. Ugh. Oh, mother. Do I really have to go and play with Grey right now? I would like the two of you to spend an entire day together, just enjoying yourselves. And I don't want to see an evil of you back here before nightfall. Unless it's an emergency. <sighs> Get going, dear! Oh, I'm sorry, my dear cop. This matter with the tiger is one you've been too close to. I hope you understand one day that keeping you from all of this is for the good of all of us. Especially you. Slow it down, Gray. I can't keep up with you. Oh, I'm sorry, sis. I didn't mean to get so far ahead. I just really wanted to gorge on some wild hairs today. <sighs> it's okay. I'm sorry that I yelled. It just feels like I have a really hard time keeping my emotions in check. Or even doing things the way I usually do. Well, I don't mean to come off rude or anything, but... You haven't really been yourself with me, sis. You've never really had problems keeping up with me before. You hardly smile at all when we're together. You just don't have fun anymore. <sighs> I, I guess I haven't ever really noticed how much I've changed. Mother and I talked, and I know what I need to do to get over this. Well, good. I'm glad to hear it, sis. I'm sorry you've been carrying all those burdens around so much. I can't imagine what you've gone through to get to this point. It hasn't been easy, and I'd be lying to you if I said I was totally over it. If I could have just ended him then... It doesn't matter. Come on, Sanaya. You know the only reason you lost was because you didn't have me there to help you. Why, if I were by your side, we would have chased that striped cat out of this jungle. No doubt about it. Thanks, Gray. I appreciate it. I'm not sure you would have been enough, or even the whole pack for that matter. Shere Khan is just on a whole other level. The way he can see things and maneuver them to his advantage is terrifying. He was waiting for that moment when I'd slip up and saw it coming before I even realized it. There's a reason that Shere Khan is the most feared tiger in this part of the jungle. You'd have to be as cunning as the Great and Wise Ka if you ever hoped to outwit him. The Great and Wise Ka? Who's that? <laughs> That's funny, sis. I thought you weren't in the mood for jokes. Everyone in the jungle knows about Ka, and I mean everyone. Surely you remember when Mom and Dad told us about her when we were pups, right? Mother and father never told me anything. No one in the entire pack has ever mentioned this... Ka to me. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry for laughing at you, sis. I really thought you knew and maybe just forgot or something. It's just too weird that you don't know because it's one of the first things the pack teaches about. For goodness sake, if it's something so important that everyone knows about her, why keep it a secret from me? I'm not sure why it's even a secret, to be honest. All the elders in the pack told us growing up was more or less to be aware of the old and wise serpent paw. Rumor around the jungle is that, in exchange for something valuable, the wise serpent will share her wisdom with the one who would seek it. What kind of wisdom does she share? And what's considered to be valuable to her? I don't know, sis. Your guess is as good as mine. I don't get it. Why keep that from me? It doesn't make any sense at all. Do you even know where the serpent's lair is? Not sure exactly. 
We purposely hunt in the northern and western areas of our territory, and the east belongs to Shere Khan, as you know. The south is considered too dangerous for even the entire pack, so we avoid it. If I had to take a guess, I'd say the Serpent's Lair is down there somewhere. You're not thinking about actually going there, are you, sis? Oh, not at all, Gray. I just didn't know about any of this until now. I figured if I'm going to understand the danger, I should at least know everything there is to know about it. Sheesh, sis. I'm sorry that you're just now hearing about this for the first time. Hearing something important like that from you seems stupid to me, considering everyone knows about it. Almost as stupid as keeping that meeting the elders are having tonight secret. Oh. Wait. Keeping a meeting between the elders secret? What do you mean, Gray? Sanaya, sis. I, I never wanted to hurt you. I just honestly came out here to have fun and hunt with you. The pack asked me to keep you busy today so they could discuss some things. Quit keeping secrets from me and tell me what's going on! I'm not keeping secrets from you! Or at least not on purpose. What do you know that I don't? The pack elders are meeting to discuss what to do about Shere Khan. Why? Why was keeping this secret from me so important, Gray? Akela feels like your situation with Shere Khan is too personal after what happened to your father and ultimately to you. I think that they were scared that you'd take a rash approach and try to challenge this tiger again. Does Akela think I'm stupid or something? Does no one in the pack seriously trust me at all? And even you are in on this? No, no, sis. I didn't mean it like that. I didn't want to come out here to keep you busy like they wanted. I just wanted to spend some time with my sister and have some fun. Hey! Sis, where are you going? I'm going home. After all of this debate, there is no doubt in my mind that we all agree on the danger. The threat posed by Shere Khan can no longer be ignored and must be dealt with decisively. But Akila, how can we possibly chase the tiger away from our hunting grounds? The strength of the pack is not enough to even threaten him, let alone challenge him. Naked is white. Shere Khan would rather fight to his own death than give up what he controls. You know this to be true. Yes, Raksha, I do. That's why I'm strongly considering getting into contact with our rivaling clan from the neighboring territory. If an alliance with them could be made, it would give us the numbers we need to fight against the tiger. The neighboring wolf clan? We can't enlist their help. They can't be trusted. I can't put my faith in this situation either. I fear that seeking the strength of another clan will leave you with the image of being a weak alpha. Regardless of what we decide, there is no way out of this situation without some sort of sacrifice. It is my responsibility to choose an impossible path forward. Sis! For the last time, just go home and leave me alone. Snaya, I can see that you are upset. I can explain all this to you later. There's nothing to explain. I know all about your secret meeting about Shere Khan. Now you had Grey take me out this afternoon to distract me. I will not be kept in the dark any longer. Silence your tongue, daughter. You should not speak to me with that tone. I understand your frustration, Snaya, but you don't understand the reasons for why we kept certain things hidden. I am not your enemy. You and father always told me that family wasn't about appearances or blood. It was about the bond that we shared. Keeping secrets from me shows me that my bond was lesser. The girl is right, Raksha. There is much we haven't told her, and to continue keeping her in the dark, especially now, is to deny her the true place in our clan that she is entitled to. The Council of Elders all agreed. Sonaya's safety will be the clan's highest priority and- As hard as it may be for you, I ask that you respect my wishes. Step aside and allow your daughter to come and speak with me. I'm sure you must have a thousand questions on your mind, young one. Well, not so young anymore, it seems. I'll answer anything that you have to ask with complete honesty. I guess the most pressing question I have for you and everyone else's 
Why? Why did the family not choose to tell me about so many different things? Was it because I'm not like the rest of you? <laughs> that is not how it is at all, Sanaya. As you said with the words of your father, family isn't about what you look like. You are as much a part of this family as I, your mother, or even your father was before. As far as I am concerned, you are as capable as any wolf in this family. If you respect me as both a warrior and a member of this family, why not tell me everything? You ask a simple question, Sanaya. I just wish the answer to it were as simple to tell you. When your parents adopted you long ago, it was left to all of us to decide how to best raise you. As I'm sure you are aware, wolves and men are two entirely different species. There was much we did not know about you and who you would become. Many creatures of the jungle look on men in a very different way. They would not look at you and see a person, but an opportunity. There was much concern for your long-term well-being in the jungle. It was your father's idea to keep you away from certain truths that the rest of our clan knew so that you could develop and grow into your own. Perhaps we were overly cautious. Some of us weren't sure about this approach. But Netta, your father was stubborn in his decision. And after all these years, I can see that he was right after all. Because you have become a wolf that he would be most proud of. You are of age to make your own decisions and as long as you are willing to accept the consequences of those decisions, you may do so as you please. If you truly feel that you must face the tiger alone, then I won't stop you. But if you seek the same immediate rash vengeance you did before, the results will be the same, if not worse. have to do this, but I don't even know how I can do it. How can I defeat an enemy I can't match in strength? Maybe she could help me to find a better way to fight Shere Khan. Maybe she has the answers no one else has. I hope. Who are you that you would enter the Serpent's Lair? It's me, Great Ka. My name is Sanaya, and I... I am an adopted member of Akila's clan. The only reason one would enter this place is because they are either damned or desperate. Which are you? I'm desperate. I need your help. You are the wisest creature in this part of the jungle, and I need the wisdom you have to defeat Shere Khan. That vile tiger. He has to pay for all the horrible, barbaric things he's done. I want him to die for branding me with his mark and sparing me just to live in humiliation. I have to end him. No, I will end him. But I can't do it on my own. I was told that you might know a way. To defeat Shere Khan, you must possess strength greater than that of the tigers. A weapon not forged of claw or tooth. What you seek is a power of nature 
that even the mighty elephant would fear. What is this power of nature that you're talking about? It is a thing that goes by many names. Some in the jungle refer to it as the red flower. Mankind calls it an inferno flame. But I call it the sun's tear. The sun's tear? Yes. The sun's tear is a radiating force that cascades and flows like a raging waterfall. It often starts as a small, weak droplet akin to that of rain. However, unlike the rain, the sun's tear requires only that one simple drop to ignite the world in a crimson sea and rage across the land. It is this power, this force, that you can use to defeat Shere Khan once and for all. How can I get the sun's tear? How can I control its power to defeat Shere Khan? I need to know how to- I am sorry, young one. I can't provide you with those answers that you seek at this time. Per the law that I live by, I do not offer more wisdom than what is equivalent to that which is offered to me. I have already given to you the wisdom for the price that you offered. Now then, it is time for me to collect, and for you to sleep. Well, there's something you don't often see in the middle of the night. The leader of the wolves alone and lost in thought. Why, if I didn't know better, I'd say you almost look as if you were actually confused for the first time in your life. Hello, Bagheera. It has been some time since I last saw you around these parts. I take it that you are on the hunt tonight? I was until I saw you looking out from this hill alone. I've known you for many years. You seem especially worried tonight. What's troubling you, old friend? Perceptive as always, Bagheera. It's Sanaya. There was an incident yesterday where the young cub learned about some things she hadn't previously known. I see. So let me guess. After she learned about all of this, she became frustrated with you and ran away. Does that sound about right? No. She was, is, driven by hatred towards the tiger and has a vendetta in her no words can reason with. Nothing I say can or will change her mind and so, I was left with no choice but to let her take this path she wanted to walk, alone. You what? Akila, why would you do something like that? She's going to get herself killed. I understand well what path she is on. However, the cub is of age and must find her own way forward if she is to survive in this jungle. We can't shield her from this or the choices she herself has to make. But your methods will put this girl in great danger. This is not what Netta would have wanted for Sonaya. Nevertheless, Bagheera, Netta left the clan and its future to me, and I must do what is good for all of us. That includes respecting the wishes of those who would forge their own path alone instead of with the family. I understand, old friend. Thankfully, I'm not a part of your clan, so your rules and decisions don't necessarily apply to me. Bagheera, where are you going? I'm going to find Sanaya and talk to her about all this. She has to be made to see that what she is getting herself into is going to come at a fatal cost. That girl is just as important to me as she is to you. I hope that you can help her see the truth, my friend. Please, keep our young Sanaya safe and please bring her home someday. dead trees in the morning with the rays of first light go there young one the valley go there go there
It's Naya? Is that you, young one? <gasps> Vigera! Oh my gosh, it's been so long. <laughs> Indeed it has, Naya. Indeed it has. My, my. Someone has sure grown up. Last time I saw you, why, you weren't nearly as strong as you look now. Come on, Vigera. It's only been a couple of seasons since we last saw each other. Maybe I would look so different, though, if you'd come around more often. Ah, uh, true, true. You know I try to avoid your family's hunting grounds. Naturally, I can't always travel up north how I like, but I made an exception this time. I see. Well, I'm really glad that I got to see you at least. Were you doing some hunting around here, Bagheera? Actually, I came to see you, Sanaya. I heard about the disagreement you had with your family. I'm perfectly fine, Bagheera. You don't have to worry about me. I just needed a little time away to figure some things out. I see. Well, I would have expected you to stay close at home when figuring things out. Yet, you're deep in the Southern Territory and heading even deeper into it. I do need to ask, though, just where are you going exactly? Where am I going? I'm going to the Valley of Dead Trees. Sanaya, what would you possibly hope to find in that place? There is nothing to hunt. Why go to a place that is known only for its drought and death? I... I just feel like I have to go there. Like everything will be made clear when I do. I'm sorry, Bagheera, but I have to go now. Sanaya? Sanaya, wait a second! Whatever you're seeking, you won't find it in there! Sanaya, are you even listening? <sighs> that girl. I hope she didn't do what I think she did. There you are. Now, let's see what you are really after. What am I even doing here? I thought everything would make sense when I got here, but there's nothing here. This is such a waste of time. <gasps> Sometimes when the sky weeps, it sings a song so beautiful, it can even make the sun itself shed a tear. The sun's tear. Come to me, Sanaya. I should have known. Sanaya, you foolish girl. slightest idea what you mean, and I hate being left in the dark. Either you explain to me what you're talking about, or I am leaving right now. You humans are such interesting creatures. So desperate for the things you covet. The sacrifices you're willing to make to that end. Yet fragile beings with such delicate senses. Have you really forgotten it all, Sanaya? 
Have you forgotten why you came to me in the first place? The sole reason you sought me out. What? No, how could I forget that? I came here to seek your wisdom about how to defeat Shere Khan and- And wisdom is what I granted you. More than wisdom, in fact. As you have returned, holding the power you sought in your hands. This is the sun's tear. So then, the words that I've been hearing in the air all day, the actions that I've taken without understanding why, those were all things that you put inside of me. I put a portion of your soul that you gave me to good use, and made my own little garden inside of you. But rejoice, young one, for the seed sown within will have now returned bearing fruit. How is that possible? I am blessed with a power, a talent, if you will, that allows me into the heart and soul of one's being. It takes the form of a hypnotic gaze that allows me to induce a trance upon any that look into my eyes. With only a small piece, much like the one you've already given me, I can merely whisper suggestions and subtle guidance. But, if I had a greater portion, I would be far less limited. That seems almost too fantastic to believe, had I not just experienced it. I am not the only one in this cave with power, Sanaya. You hated being in the dark, with the sun's tear. You'll never have to be lost in darkness ever again. I can't believe it. That tiger left his mark on you as well. So you see it, Sanaya. Our alliance was not so unlikely after all. Long ago. I too had a fateful encounter with Shere Khan. And like you, I have familiar marks to remember it by. I think I understand now why you've gone to such lengths to help me. I am truly sorry for my earlier outburst and any disrespect I may have shown towards you. I promise that I will use the power of the sun's tear and the gifts of wisdom you have given to me to- <laughs> Don't misunderstand me, Sanaya. I didn't grant you the wisdom to find the sun's tear as a mere gift. Though you gained the benefit, the seeds of wisdom I sowed last night were an investment. Surely you remember the law I live by. A price must be paid in return. You mean that you want another part of my soul? Last night? You freely relinquished a part of your soul in exchange for the secrets of the sun's tear. Just the secrets. But thanks to me, you now not only possess those secrets, but wield the very weapon you were searching for. Do you think it unfair of me to request a return for such generosity? No, I guess not. I've gotten so much more than what I expected to find when I came here. Will you just do whatever you did before again? Or is there more that you want? No more than before. Another night in this place. Another portion of you to add to the garden I am cultivating. But fear not, Zanaya. The seeds that I plant in this beautiful garden will be entirely for your benefit. You can trust that. And trust me. I will trust your word, Ka. I'll give you a fair return for what you've done for me. Please.
please take it with my blessing and with my gratitude. This is exactly what I long to hear you say, my dear. If you continue down this path with me, you will find so much more than you could ever dream of. There's more of yourself to give after all, and everything you could ever desire waits for you in exchange. For now, though, look into my eyes. Sanaya. That's it, Sanaya. Just like before. Look deep into my eyes and let the colors overwhelm you. Let them wash over your senses. Let them cleanse your being of everything that holds you back. Fall into them and let them take you to a most wondrous place. <laughs> Perfect, Sanaya. You are absolutely impeccable and flawless, my dear. Feel it now. The power of these colors flowing into your body. They make you feel so relaxed. So at ease. So blissful. So sleepy. Sleep. <sighs> Slumber is the place where you can rest in peace. The place where you can dream of anything you desire. Drift down deeper and deeper into sleep, Sanaya. Sleep. 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 <laughs> You're so close, my dear. You are on the brink of the abyss, where blissful oblivion waits you. All you have to do is let your mind fall over the edge, and submit to the feelings that have been building up inside of you all this time. Surrender yourself to those feelings. Submit to the hypnotic slumber and become mine once more. I could remember what happens after I see those colorful lights. Only terrible things happen to those that let themselves fall into that creature's eyes. Oh! Good morning, Bigira. I didn't expect to see you again so soon. Why are you sticking around these parts? You're not getting lazy on me, are you? It's not quite like that, Sanaya. I'm afraid my reasons for being here are a bit more urgent. Sanaya, would you... Accompany me to the river this morning, please. There is something I need to talk to you about. But couldn't we just do that here? No, Sanaya. I need to talk to you in private, away from any prying eyes and ears. Just humor me this time and come with me, please. Sanaya. 
Sanaya, what are you doing? Getting a drink of water? What does it look like I'm doing? No, not that. I mean, what are you doing with Ka? Why have you been visiting her lair? I've been seeing Ka because I thought maybe she could help me. The last time I fought Shere Khan, I wasn't strong enough to beat him on my own. I should have known. I had a feeling it was something like that. Have you learned anything? Ka has been teaching me a little bit each night. She's told me all about the powerful force of the sun's tear, and even helped me to find and see its power for the first time. She says that with its power, I can- What was the price for that knowledge? What did you pay to gain this wisdom from Ka? I... I give Ka a portion of my soul in exchange for knowledge about the sun's tear. But how did you know that I paid something for that? How much, Sanaya? How much of your soul have you given away for this knowledge? I... I don't know. It's not like it's a real thing she can take, right? They're just words. It's not as if I actually gave her anything. You're wrong, Sanaya. Think back from your first time meeting her to now. How different are your views and feelings? Did you see her as an ally, if not a friend? I don't think of her as a friend. But I do see her as an ally or as a teacher, and as much as I'd like to be around her, I don't feel like I absolutely have to be. Then you aren't too far gone. Good. Maybe there's still hope for you yet. Bagheera, what's going on? I don't understand any of this, and you aren't usually so evasive or demanding. What aren't you telling me? What I'm not telling you is something you should already know. If you continue down this road, you're going to find yourself in a place where you'll never be the same. Quit being like Akila and the rest of my family. All they did was keep secrets from me. I hate secrets, Bagheera. If you want me to understand, then tell me! This is what I mean. You are unlike yourself. What you don't realize is that by giving up part of your soul to Kar, you are in a sense giving up yourself. On that journey, you'll find you'll be giving up things that were once important to you for that serpent and her coils. Your friends, your family, even your own life. Even if you somehow get to the end of that road and break away, you'll never be the same. I should know. You should know? What do you mean by that? Trading something of yourself for something to eat doesn't sound bad when you're starving, but it was a higher price than I could ever have imagined as you'll find out if you don't change your course now. I can't stop seeing Ka just yet. She has secrets that I don't know, things that will help me defeat Shere Khan. He's the only one who really changed who I am and how I act, way more than Ka ever could. Darn you, Sanaya, listen to me. I don't care how much that python knows and what you can learn from her. That knowledge, even Shere Khan's death, will mean nothing when she's done with you. Can't you understand that? If you keep this up, you will lose everything. You can't trust Karsanaya. I hear you, Bagheera. I hear what you're trying to tell me. But how can I stop now? Your words are quiet in comparison to the drive, the need to kill that tiger. I'm not asking you to do anything. I'm warning you what will happen if you don't stop. I give you this warning and revealed my secret past that not even your family knows about because you are special to me as your father was. And if your father were here right now seeing what you're doing, what would he say? I... I don't know. I just... I don't know. It's because of my father that I'm doing this. I came hoping that I could spare you the fate that I suffered years ago. You had best look deep inside yourself and ask what you're willing to give up to avenge your father. You at least owe him that much. <sighs> I'm here, Father. I'm so sorry that it took me so long to visit. I didn't feel I could face you until... 
until I had... I've been trying so hard to right this terrible wrong. I don't have the strength myself, but I found a way. It's coming at an enormous cost I didn't even realize until today. I wish you were here. I feel so lost, Father. The only way this sad story can end is with the tiger's demise. He can only be slain by one power. And that power can be yours. Come back to me, Sanaya. I'm sorry, Father. Please forgive me for what I have to do. just how far she has strayed, and what she's forgotten in her short time away. Ka, I know why I'm here. A reason I could never forget. I can sense, however, that you've returned to me with a change of heart. What makes you think that? I'm still as determined as ever to learn all I can about the sun's tear and defeat Shere Khan. Something has happened to make you question all that you've done until now. No, you're wrong. I'm not questioning anything. I know exactly what I need to do. Are you sure about that, Sanaya? There is still so much that you need. Are you so confident that you'd look into my eyes right now? <sighs> As I suspected, you are hesitant to go any further. Your meeting with the panther is no doubt to blame. You knew that I talked to Bagheera? Do you think me blind, my sweet flower? I saw the two of you outside of my cave, and now I taste confusion where conviction once lived. But it's more than that, isn't it? You no longer trust me. No, I do. Or, I want to, at least. I- Nevertheless, here you now stand in fear of me. Your mind twisted by needless complexity. <sighs> A shame. When the path forward is so simple. I've been told so many different things. It's so overwhelming that I- I don't even know what's right or wrong anymore. I don't know who to trust, who to believe, who's right. There, there, Sanaya. Your own desires and your morals influenced by others clash with one another. And as such, this is the only result you can expect. I hate feeling like this. What can I do? How can I get past this? You could always listen to your panther friend and simply turn your back and walk away. You could give up on your desires. You could give up on Netta. Never. Then your choice is before you. However, if making a decision on your own is too much for you, I can help you by taking the choice out of the equation. I can see within you that you long for that experience just once more. You want to see my eyes again to exchange more of yourself for the peace my powers give. The certainty. I do want peace from the burden of this decision and from the hardships of the jungle. I'm, I'm tired, Ka. I'm so tired. I can put those burdensome thoughts and worries to rest. But what I have to do have you really any need to ask? You 
already know precisely what it is you have to do. Don't you? Yes. I do. Very good. With my power, nothing will stand between you and that which you desire. You'll only know the sweet sense of blissful freedom, the likes of which you've never known. You only have to do one thing to obtain it. What's that? Completely surrender to me. It would seem that my flower has bloomed with the light of the dawn. Good morning to you, my dearest Sinaya. Ka, good morning. I guess I must have fallen asleep last night at some point again. I'm sorry. I hope my constant doing that hasn't messed anything up. 
On the contrary, dear. It's no accident that you fade into sleep after your time with me. And with your slumber last night, I have finally collected enough to achieve my ultimate desire. What desire is that? To make you mine. <gasps> no! I don't belong to you. I'm not something you can own. Come now, Zanaya. You did not truly believe you were giving me nothing tangible, did you? No, you are no fool. You knew the truth deep down all along. I know what I've been trading, but I wasn't doing it to give you my soul. I made it no secret what would happen if you started down this path. Yet you recklessly proceeded without a second thought. A reckless soul like that left to its own will would be forever lost and wasted. Far better to have more direct and experienced guidance. I don't want to be yours. I don't want your influence, control, or anything else like that. I want you to let me go. It's too late, Zanaya. Understand that everything that we've done together from the second you set foot in my lair to this present moment in my coils has been spent preparing you for one single moment in time. What moment? What are you talking about? The moment where you slay Sher Khan once and for all. Sher Khan. Yes. I came to you for help. You did, Sanaya. You came seeking help, and I provided you that. However, your reckless emotions are a liability around the tiger. To ensure you can properly control the power of the sun's deer, you must let someone else control you. I understand. If you accept my control as your new reality, accepting submission as your nature, then you will be ready to face the tiger. Yes, Ka. Do not fight the Sanaya. Surrender. With that stone, the power of the sun's tear is always in your hand. Thank you, Ka. And once this is done, you, we, both, will have our revenge. On this day, Khan will be hunting near the Valley of the Dead Trees. You are to go there and come twilight. You must use the sun's tear. Let it spread and flow across the land to consume everything like a raging river. This act will draw the tiger to you. You want me to set the jungle ablaze with the sun's tear? But won't that destroy everything? Fear not, my lovely flower. After the sun sets, the rains will come and extinguish the crimson sea that you have created. The land will be reborn by this act, as you yourself will be when it is over. Wield the sun's tear mercilessly and without restraint. If you show strength when he shows weakness, his demise will be imminent. So, oh, it's you. I should have known when I saw the burning light and caught the scent of embers that it was you that did this. The jungle misfit has abandoned her adoptive heritage and become a destroyer of nature. How typical of your kind. You're wrong, Shere Khan. I haven't abandoned anything. My hatred for you burns far hotter than these flames. You still speak with that foolish tongue. Have you already forgotten what happened last time we faced off? Things aren't like they were last time. I didn't have the power I needed to defeat you. 
this time I have that power and I will use it to end your reign once and for all. I suppose you mean the red flower. So, you've discovered the bothersome element your kind wields with such carelessness? Such a thing has been responsible for the destruction of much in times past. It is the single reason I hate your kind. Using the power changes nothing, only seals your doom. I'm not the same girl you fought last time. Take a good look around you, Shere Khan. With the sun's tear, I will not lose again. The sun's tear. Uh, I see now. So, you've been seeing her. Another I've put in their place. No doubt there's more she put into you than knowledge alone. It makes me wonder if your reasons for challenging me are your own or hers. They're mine. Make no mistake, Khan. I'm here to end you. You've gotten on my last nerve, human. I let you live before to make an example out of you. This time, I show you no mercy! Just all talk after all. I'm impressed you've held your own against me as well as you have. Even still, you are no match for me. That foolish tongue has gone quiet. Fear takes even the most confident words. Fear? No. Only one of us is afraid. I remember every moment of our fight before. Something's different. Ka was right about you and the sun's tear. Not another word out of your mouth. Has it touched you once before? Have you been burned by its power? Speak again, and I swear it will be your last. You called me blind before said I was naive for not realizing that the end of the battle was near. Yet here you are doing the same when your defeat is imminent. This ends now! as a whole. I have no respect. Coming from a tiger that doesn't even live by the laws of the jungle. You kill for sport, terrorize for pleasure, and take delight in going against everything all other creatures who call this place home live by. But this is my nature. The nature of power. But what power I have as much as I hate to admit it, is surpassed by man. All jungle creatures are dwarfed by the strength of their kind. Your kind. The Crimson Sea you've created was once only nature's to unleash. And now, even a this girl can rewrite the very script of the law of the jungle. You mean that small village of men on the jungle's edge? <laughs> How can so few of them make you so afraid? By waving a bright stick around like this? Ignorant child. I have seen many more of them wielding even more of nature's weapons. Thunder and cold, hardened rock. They come with unfamiliar scents from far off lands. Their law of the jungle is tyranny. And I fear 
it will soon govern us all. Those villagers, however many there are, gave me a way to the jungle, and I am better off for it. Using the sun's tear doesn't make me like them. You had the heart of a wolf the last time we met, but now I see something else in your eyes. I see the serpent's power there, molding you into a useful tool. And in this changing jungle, a man is more useful than a wolf. Liar! This was all about you, ensuring that justice was served for the barbaric things you've done to both of us. Justice? Your own pathetic desire for vengeance isn't justice. Look around you. You've done in this night far worse than anything I've achieved in this lifetime. If you eliminate me tonight, rest assured that a stronger evil may take my place. And that evil will be you. You're wrong, Shere Khan. I'm not evil. This destruction is temporary. Tonight the rains will come and extinguish the Crimson Sea. But you won't be around to see it. Rains? Is this what she told you? Are humans so blind that they cannot even smell the air around them? What do you mean? There are no rains, girl. The air is as dry as the ash that falls around us. This sea will not stop until it's run its course and washed this valley away. Now you understand. You're almost the perfect tool for her, trusting her blindly. I have to give it to that damned cunning serpent. I never expected this. She won fair and square. Well, go on then. Kill me. Take your justice. No. I won't do it. I'm no tool. I won't... I surrender. What? No. I wasn't... I couldn't... Foolish girl. You are what this jungle shall fear now. In evil, enslaved to an even greater one. What have I done? You are now fully...